one day in Brighton, Steve and Pete were spinning around on a turntable. But unfortunately, the turntable wasn't spinning as fast for Pete as it was for Steve. Oh, this is ridiculous, said Pete. Why won't the turntable spin as fast for me? Steve chuckled. Maybe it's because you're sitting on the edge of the turntable. If you were sitting in the middle like I was, the turntable would be more balanced and it would spin faster. Unfortunately, he started moving while the turntable was still spinning. And his front wheels accidentally went onto the track in front of him. The turntable groaned loudly as it tried to move. Uh-oh, this ain't gonna be good, said Pete, and it wasn't. Pete was thrown into the air and began to fall down towards Steve. Steve backed up just in time, and Pete landed on the track with a loud foot. But instead of checking to see if Pete was alright, Steve became cross. What are you crazy? said Steve. You could have landed on me. This made Pete cross. Well, maybe it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't told me to move. Well, you know I'm not saying anything and Steve puffed away instead of helping Pete get back on the track. After that, Steve and Pete were no longer brothers. Then, a few days later, the two engines saw each other coming from either a high bridge. Neither one of them wanted to back up and let the other one pass through, so they decided to joust. Steve and Pete were loaded onto their flatbeds. They both made up 